Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hi, right, folks. This video is geared more towards the dudes because I see this a lot. I'm going to title this video, and I made this phrase popular, thank goodness. Stand on your own, too. Now, what's that? what does that mean? That doesn't mean being some type of thirsty ass dude on Facebook or Twitter or any social media. Standing on your own too doesn't mean you make excuses for your failures or, you know, or the hitches that you may have in your giddy up. Standing on your own too, what it means is you hold yourself accountable. You don't let you don't look to blame anybody else for what you do. You don't look to blame anybody else for your ignorance. You don't look to blame anybody else because your lack of research. You don't look to blame anybody else. Period. You take it, you accept responsibility. You, you go put your boots on, you lace your bootstraps up, and you get busy. The problem I see is a lot of folks just don't want to do it. Uh, and like I said, I help, I help people. But like I said, at the end of the day, I can show you where the water's at, and I can lead you to the water. But you don't really have to drink that water. If I'm drinking this, saying it's okay, you don't trust me. That's your problem. But don't come back later and then cry about how you're dying and starving. You're, you're dying because you're starving. And th dying of dehydration. Well, I told you where the water was. I'd show you how to drink the water. You don't want to do it. A lot of people out here now. This is this is. I'm, I'm saying it's standing here too because I see a lot of a lot of guys starting to act like their mothers, and I'm I'm tired. I'm just getting kind of sick of it. But uh, standing on your own too means you just be accountable for shit. It, 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 like it's not that hard. Like you people make it sound, people make it sound like you know I'm talking some outer space alien shit over here. All I'm saying is you be accountable for the things you say and do. Standing on two means you hold yourself to a higher standard than a lot of other lands. Standing on two means you don't do fake shit and trying to pawn it off as you're doing real shit. Like I said, to me, I, I just look at social media and I just, I just get disgusted because I see a lot of fake shit. And uh, it's, you're, you're fusing it with, with real stuff, and it's no, it's not. Standing on your own too. Standing on your own too means if, if I make a mistake or if I fail, hey, I'm man enough to when I make a mistake. Say, hey, that's on me. I did. It. I've done it before. I've done it in the past. Say you're at work and something happens. Look, man, if someone else is getting blamed, I'll go, hey, man, no, nah, that was me. I did that. Now, if nobody's getting blamed, nobody knows who did it. <laughs> just saying, but uh, standing on two means is like if someone else, like, hey man, I, like I'll take the hit for it because I did it. If, uh, hey, if no one knows what take the hit for means. Research a lot of people know. Some people know when I say what that means, but man, they know what it means. Like there's been times I said, hey man, I'll take the hit for it. I did it. Standing on two means I'm not afraid to fail because I fell in the past. And like I said, people are going to talk to you whether you're nice. Whether you're not nice or whether you're just normal or, or in between. It doesn't matter what you do, people are not going to like you. And if you look at it from that aspect, you, you, it's like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. So just do it. I mean, just do you. I mean, I, wor I don't worry about no way except the people who I care about. I listen to my friends and family. There's a lot of people out here in, 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 in internet land who I'll, I'll listen to and I'll give advice. They give me advice and I listen to that. But there's eighty percent of the people out there are just dummies, man. And I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. Like I said, I avoid. I like if, you, if people know me in real life, they know like my circle as far as who I trust is small, because a lot of people they're just not. They're just not thorough with their stuff. Like if you look on Facebook, you'll see they're not thorough. If you go on Twitter, you see they're not thorough. And it's just like I don't. At my age right now, I don't have time to deal with all that stupid stuff. I want my life simple. And I want it like to the point, you know what I mean? But a lot, a lot of like standing on your own too means you just be a man about the situation, or if you're a woman, just being big, just be a lady about the situation. You know, own up to what you do. Quit making excuses for your life. Like, and, and here's what gets me: all these people make excuses for their life. You can go back and look at their life and see where they messed up for yourself. It's just, this is facts, people. I mean, I'm just, I'm not, I'm no rocket science over here. I just play one on TV. But, um, 
just stand on your own too, bro. Like I hear, I hear, I see people on on the YouTube. They always want to make excuses. Well, this is the reason for this. This is the reason for that. You were a victim. Well, let me put it to you this way. I will never, and I never have, and I never will, and I advise other people not to do this. Never, a victim never rises above the top. A victim, a current victim never rises. A current victim will always stay as a dummy. And if you, if you think you're a victim, you're a dummy. If you, if you, if you say you're a victim, you're a dummy. You, anybody has a mentality, they're dummies. You want to know why? Yes, there has been victims that become this or that, but they used to be victims. They're not currently victims. If you're currently a victim, you'll never accomplish nothing in your life. You want to know why? Because that's, that's the question you can lean on. That's, you, that's your reason for failing every time. That's the reason for you staying a dummy. Well, I'm a victim. I'm a victim. You're not a victim. The only thing you're a victim of is your own arrogance and your own ignorance and your own stupidity. Yes, those all three are separate if you look at the definition I'm using them as. The problem is, you want somebody to blame for what you've done. Because your life, maybe your life wasn't perfect. Maybe maybe you, you know, grew up poor. Maybe you didn't have a father, you didn't have a, a mother. Maybe you didn't have any brothers or sisters. Maybe you didn't have grandparents, whatever. Maybe you grew up rich, you know, I don't see how that would be a problem. But, uh, and then you look, then then, then you figure, well, I can, I can do this, I can do that, that, because that'll be my crutch. That'll be my excuse. Well, no, it's not your excuse. At the end of the day, you're held to a standard. Everybody's held to a standard. You have to own up to what you do. So, I, I love hearing these guys saying they're victims, because I'm thinking in the back of my mind, he's a, he's a dummy. <laughs> and I'm going to whatever you say in the back of my mind, here's another dummy. Uh, if you're a woman, I'll say you're a dummy too, because I'm an equal opportunity guy over here. It's all these victims. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. Uh, you're not a victim. And if you expect me to listen to you, and you're a victim, are you serious? I'm out. Peace.